Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this problem we have joint variation and inverse variation. So, and they are going together. So, this is what is a joint variation and this is what inverse variation is. We're going to put them together. So, I'm going to write first the equation that model this problem. And since we have a joint variation first, I'm going to write K times AB, right? and inversely as the square root of c. That, this is the equation that model the given situation. Uh, and the first step in this problem is to find k using this last part of the problem, which says, which says y equals 15. So I'm going to put 15. Like I said, k is a, a variable we need to find out, the constant, when a is 5. B is 3 and C is 25. So first of all, let's simplify what we have here. And what we have here can be simplified as 15 equals K times 5 times 3. And that square root of 25 can be simplified and that is 5. If you notice this 5 cancel out. So we have left 15 equals k times 3, which gives me uh, k equals 5. That is the value of k. So now we can go to the second step of this problem, where we really need to find this y, when a is 5, b is five, uh, a is 4, b is 5, and c is 16. So I'm going to write again the equation. The only difference, I'm going to replace k with 5. And this is the equation that model our problem. But now we're going to find y when a is 4, b is 5, and c is 16. And again, it's okay. let's simplify first here, 5 times... 4 times 5 and square root of 16 is 4 as you notice these two 4 cancel out so the final answer for us will be y equals 25 and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you